Hello my friends and today we are starting our new project and we are going to be talking about the word texture. Now texture is an element of art that means when you touch something it feels a certain way. So there are lots of different types of texture. There's smooth, rough, bumpy, sharp. So I want you to um, understand that texture is the way something feels and that there are lots and lots of different ones. So today we're going to be using our texture practice sheet. We're going to be using our texture plate which is a piece of cardboard with little either bumps. You might have different looking ones. Um, they might be in different patterns. It does not matter which one you get. Okay. Um, so you need that and you're going to need crayons. You cannot use markers for this. It will not work. It needs to be crayons. Um, colored pencils might work. So what this is, is it helps us draw textures because if I'm going to run my hand over this, I can tell it has a bumpy texture. The back of it is a little bit more smooth, but it's kind of got a rough feel to it. My table is nice and hard and smooth. So there are lots of different textures. So for our texture practice, this is how you need to do it. You need to put your texture plate down first and then your piece of paper goes on top of it. So I'm going to place my paper on top and I can feel the texture plate underneath where I'm about to draw. Now on this part, it doesn't cover my whole paper so I can feel the smooth surface of the table. So I can tell it is not here, but where it feels kind of bumpy is where I know my texture plate is going to be. So since this is a practice day, we need to understand how to use them. So you can pick any color crayon. And what you're going to do is you are going to color on top of that texture plate and keep going over and over and over. And you're going to notice that the texture is starting to pop up inside of the shape. Now the reason I made shapes was so that you can practice staying inside the lines even though you're drawing on a bumpy texture because we're going to need to know that in a couple of weeks. So I'm just going to color over and over and over again until I start to see that texture pop out. I'm going to do my best to stay inside the lines, but if I go outside the lines, that is a-okay because this is our practice sheet. So you can see how my circle kind of looks like an Easter egg. Because it's picking up the texture of the plate and transferring it onto my paper. And if I touch my paper, it's actually a little bumpy too. So your challenge is to find four different textures. But you might say, Miss LaRock, you only gave me one texture plate. That is okay. You can go around your house and find different surfaces that have different textures. You might have a brick wall. You might have like a bumpy tile on your floor. You might have a grate that um, your heating grate that you might be able to use as a texture plate. Guess what? The bottom of your shoe can be used as a texture plate. I'm going to show you mine. It's a little dirty. But here's my shoe. I could take my paper and place it on top of my shoe. And when I treat it like a texture plate, the pattern from my shoe is starting to show. You can see those little lines. You can see on my shoe I have these little grooves. So I would fill in my whole shape. So your job is to find four different textures that you can pick up. Now I don't want you to do a smooth surface because that's how we normally color. We color on a smooth surface. But there are lots and lots of different textures around our houses that we can find. So you are going to do your practice sheet today, and that is all you need to do, my friends. So have fun. Practice your textures. You can always make your own worksheet. You could use the back if you want to practice some really cool ones, if you found a bunch that you could use. All right, have fun, and I will see you next week.